No one saw this coming. Not the investors. Not the engineers. Not even the media. But leaked documents, coded emails, and a single handshake behind closed doors have now revealed something unimaginable. Elon Musk and Maxwell Chikambutso are officially working together. This isn't just another collaboration between tech giants. This could be the beginning of a new energy empire. The meeting nobody was supposed to know about. It started quietly, deep inside a Tesla research facility in Palo Alto. A group of Tesla executives had gathered to discuss a mysterious project codenamed Eclipse. Officially, it didn't exist. No press releases, no patents, no paper trail. But insiders say that on a late evening in early 2025, a small aircraft landed at a private airstrip near the facility. On board was none other than Maxwell Chikambutso, the Zimbabwean inventor who stunned the world with self-powered EV and generator technology. The next 48 hours changed everything. Sources close to the meeting say that Maxwell demonstrated something Tesla's engineers couldn't explain. A compact energy module, small enough to fit in the trunk of a car, yet powerful enough to run an entire home, indefinitely. Elon's team ran the test three times. Every reading came back the same. Infinite energy output, zero input loss. One witness said the room went completely silent. Even Elon, known for his iron composure, stood frozen, his eyes fixed on the screen. Moments later, he reportedly turned to his engineers and said just three words. Get him on board. The secret agreement. Within days, encrypted messages began circulating between Tesla's top executives. A non-disclosure agreement was drafted and an unregistered shell company, Orion Systems LLC, was created in Nevada. That company, according to newly leaked documents, became the bridge between Tesla and Set Technologies, Maxwell's Zimbabwe-based firm. Their mission? To integrate Maxwell's self-sustaining energy systems into Tesla's next-generation vehicles. But this partnership wasn't about publicity. It was about survival. Tesla had been facing growing competition. Chinese EV startups, Saudi-funded clean energy projects, and even small African labs experimenting with self-charging technology. Elon knew the next big leap in the EV industry wasn't bigger batteries. It was no batteries at all. And Maxwell had just proven that was possible. Signs begin to leak. A few months later, sharp-eyed Tesla fans began noticing something odd. Several new Tesla prototypes spotted near Fremont carried no visible charging ports. The vehicles appear to operate continuously, without plugging in for days at a time. Rumors spread like wildfire across social media. Some claim Tesla had unlocked a new quantum energy drive. Others believed it was solar-assisted wireless charging. But insiders knew better. They were seeing Maxwell's self-powered system in action. Whispers began emerging from engineers who'd seen the prototypes up close. One described the system as a fusion between electromagnetic induction and nonlinear power resonance. In simpler terms, it created its own endless energy loop. And yet, both Tesla and Maxwell's companies remain completely silent. No announcements. No leaks. Just quiet testing day after day inside heavily guarded hangars and labs. The moment of exposure. Then came the slip-up. A technical document accidentally published on Tesla's internal GitHub referenced a MC Energy Core. The M, a core and analyst, stood for Maxwell. Within hours, screenshots spread online. Forums exploded. Energy experts began dissecting every line of code, every data string. Tesla quickly pulled the document offline, but it was too late. The Internet had already connected the dots. Within 48 hours, tech outlets across the globe ran headlines like, Is Tesla using Maxwell's infinite energy tech? And, Partnership between Elon Musk and African inventor exposed. At first, Tesla denied it. But soon after, an unusual event confirmed the truth. The unveiling at Starbase. During a private demonstration at SpaceX's Starbase facility in Texas, Elon Musk was presenting Tesla's upcoming energy storage project to a select group of investors. But halfway through the event, a black cloth was removed from a prototype vehicle part behind him. A self-powered EV bearing a dual logo, Tesla Plus Set Technologies. No one was allowed to record. But multiple attendees later described what they saw. 
the car running for over two hours without any battery, charger, or visible energy source. Elon reportedly looked toward the press section and smiled, saying quietly, Now you know what comes next. The global ripple. News of the partnership sent shockwaves through the global auto industry. Oil markets trembled. Battery manufacturers' stocks plummeted. And in Africa, a wave of pride swept across innovation hubs. For the first time, an African inventor wasn't just competing with Tesla. He was working with Tesla. Governments began reaching out. Energy regulators demanded answers. And while Tesla still hasn't issued an official statement, leaked emails from both companies suggest the creation of a joint division called Project Lumina, a venture focused on creating the world's first mass-produced self-powered vehicles by 2027, the hidden agenda. But behind all the excitement lies something deeper. Some analysts believe this partnership isn't just about energy independence. It's about control. If Maxwell's technology truly eliminates the need for fuel and charging, whoever controls it could dominate not just the auto industry, but the entire global energy grid. And while Elon Musk may be a visionary, Maxwell is something else entirely. He's the man who already proved that infinite energy isn't science fiction. It's real. Project Lumina exposed. As the whispers of Project Lumina began to spread, governments around the world started to panic. It wasn't the technology itself that terrified them. It was the implications. Think about it. If an electric car could power itself endlessly, with no need for charging stations, power grids, or fossil fuels, entire industries would collapse overnight. Energy conglomerates worth trillions would vanish. And governments that taxed energy consumption to fund their economies would suddenly find themselves powerless, both literally and politically. So, the phone calls began. Behind closed doors, Washington, Beijing, and Brussels reached out to Tesla's headquarters under the pretext of energy cooperation. But insiders say the tone was anything but friendly. One U.S. official allegedly told a Tesla executive, If this technology goes public without regulation, you'll destabilize global markets within months. We can't let that happen. That's when Tesla's board quietly paused public updates on Project Lumina. But Elon Musk? He had other plans. The secret facility in Botswana. While the world's attention was focused on Tesla's California labs, something extraordinary was happening 10,000 miles away. In the dry plains of Botswana, satellite imagery revealed a newly built research compound surrounded by solar farms and restricted airspace. No one knew who funded it until leaked supply chain data showed shipments marked Seth Components, Maxwell Division. Inside the facility, a joint Tesla set technologies team was assembling something bigger than a car, a self-powered energy hub, a living power ecosystem capable of fueling not just vehicles, but entire neighborhoods. Engineers describe it as a bioenergy cluster. The idea was to create micro cities powered entirely by Maxwell's infinite energy generators. No fossil fuel, no solar dependency, no grid failures. One engineer leaked a chilling statement to an African tech blog. When this goes online, Africa won't need to import energy ever again. But that was exactly what global energy giants feared most. The secret facility in Botswana. While the world's attention was focused on Tesla's California labs, something extraordinary was happening 10,000 miles away. In the dry plains of Botswana, satellite imagery revealed a newly built research compound surrounded by solar farms and restricted airspace. No one knew who funded it until leaked supply chain data showed shipments marked set components, Maxwell Division. Inside the facility, a joint Tesla set technologies team was assembling something bigger than a car, a self-powered energy hub, a living power ecosystem capable of fueling not just vehicles, but entire neighborhoods. Engineers described it as a bioenergy cluster. The idea was to create micro-cities powered entirely by Maxwell's infinite energy generators. No fossil fuel, no solar dependency, no grid failures. One engineer leaked a chilling statement to an African tech blog. When this goes online, Africa won't need to import energy ever again. But that was exactly what global energy giants feared most. The energy war begins by mid 2026, strange things started happening. Cargo containers carrying Maxwell's generator parts were seized at ports in Europe and Asia. 
Customs officials cited security reasons, but the pattern was clear. Someone was blocking the spread of the technology. Online, smear campaigns erupted overnight. Headlines branded Maxwell's devices as dangerous, unproven, and unethical. Anonymous videos claimed his energy cores violated laws of thermodynamics, calling them impossible. Yet, in small communities across Africa, Zimbabwe, Kenya, and Nigeria, the impossible was already happening. Footage leaked to rural schools running entire campuses from one Maxwell generator. Farmers were powering irrigation systems day and night. No fuel, no electricity bills. And in one emotional clip, a Zimbabwean mother cried as her home lit up for the first time, whispering, Maxwell gave us light when the world turned its back. Tesla stayed quiet. Elon avoided questions about Maxwell during press events. But observers noticed something. Whenever asked directly, Elon smiled and said, Energy should be free, and it will be. The Pentagon leak. Then came the most shocking twist. In early 2027, an anonymous whistleblower within the U.S. Department of Defense leaked internal documents showing multiple secret briefings titled Emerging Infinite Energy Technologies. One slide included a photo labeled M Energy Core Proprietary Tech, Tesla slash Maxwell. The notes warn of a potential disruption to the global energy balance and a strategic threat to Western economic stability. But buried in the final paragraph was a chilling sentence. If Maxwell's technology achieves full-scale production, control over energy as a weapon will cease to exist. That single sentence went viral. It wasn't just a leak. It was a confession. The world realized what was at stake. For the first time in history, energy, humanity's greatest dependency, might no longer be controlled. A new kind of future, a Tesla spacecraft powered by a self-sustaining generator, flying to Mars without a single drop of fuel, a colony where homes, vehicles, and cities run forever without sunlight or charging. That's what Project Lumina was really about. Not just saving Earth, but proving humanity could survive anywhere. And right now... As engineers from both Tesla and Seth work under total secrecy, the final stage of testing is already underway. A small self-powered pod, nicknamed Helios, is reportedly running nonstop inside a sealed chamber at Starbase. It's been 400 days without a single power interruption. If that's true, then the world's first infinite energy system is not a dream anymore. It's already alive, quietly humming somewhere under the Texas sky. Project Helios unveiled. Months passed with total silence. No tweets from Elon, no press releases from Tesla, and no public appearances from Maxwell. Then, in what seemed like an ordinary afternoon, a 30-second video appeared online from an unverified account. The caption read simply, Helios Lives. The footage showed a massive, glowing structure deep in the Texas desert, humming softly, its core pulsing with light like a living heart. Inside the facility, a sleek pod hovered between magnetic rings, radiating an ethereal blue energy field. Data overlays displayed one number that made engineers around the world gasp. Operational duration, 412 days continuous. It was undeniable. Helios wasn't theory anymore. It was proof, the first self-sustaining power source in human history. One final message. Late one night, Elon Musk posted a short video recorded from Starbase, with a glowing Helios reactor behind him. He smiled and said, Maxwell proved that energy doesn't have to be scarce. That's the moment humanity became limitless. Then he paused, and for a brief second, looked directly into the camera, as if speaking to Maxwell himself. We did it, my friend. The video ended with the roar of engines as a prototype starship lifted into night sky powered not by rocket fuel, but by the same self-sustaining Helios core born in Africa. And somewhere, far from the noise, Maxwell watched from a quiet African hillside, the hum of a Helios generator lighting the homes around him. He smiled, whispering softly, Let there be light.